Good day, everybody, and welcome to this video. Today, I want to provide a quick demonstration of how the RWG can be used to help migrate the WLAN configuration from Zone Director to any of the other Ruckus wireless platforms. This could be Virtual Smart Zone, but could just as easily be Ruckus Cloud or Unleashed. So today we're actually gonna be using Virtual Smart Zone. So if we're looking at my screen here, in the top right hand corner, I have my source system, which is gonna be the zone director. And on the bottom right, I have Virtual Smart Zone. This is gonna be my target system. And on the left hand side of the screen, I have RWG. And since the RWG has the ability to integrate with all of the Ruckus wireless platforms, then what I'm going to do is to import the configuration from the zone director and then go into sync that configuration with the smart zone. So we're going to go ahead and do that by first browsing to network and wireless. And I need to add the zone director as a wireless LAN controller so that I can import the configuration. That'll be the first step. So I'll go ahead and hit create new. We'll call this zone director. And from the drop down for the type, we'll set the type to zone director as well. And the host address is going to be the IP address of the controller, which is 192.168.5.14 in my lab environment. Depending on the version of software, just make sure that the API port here is set to 22 as well as the SSH port. And I have the username of admin, and we'll put in my password. And that's all we need to do at this point. So we'll go ahead and hit create. And we'll wait a few minutes and this will come online. And once we do, we'll click the import button to import the configuration. All right, the zone director is online. So I'm just gonna pan to the right here since I have my screen minimized. And we're going to click import. We'll import everything. And I don't need to do config sync here because I'm not going to push any changes to zone director. I'm only interested in pulling information in. So we're going to leave that part unconfigured for zone director uh, and just do an import here. So it looks like that was successful. And I do see that I have management resident start here, management resident start here. So step one is complete. We have, we've brought the config from the zone director into the RWG. And now we're going to push that config to the smart zone. So the next thing that we need to do is go ahead and hit create new. And we're going to add the smart zone as a controller. And for the type here, we will do smart zone. The IP address for the smart zone is going to be 192.168.5.5. The password is going to be... <laughs> you thought I was going to tell you, didn't you? And so we'll go ahead and create that. Everything else is okay here. And so we'll wait for the smart zone to come online and then we're going to enable config sync on the smart zone because we do want to actually push changes to the smart zone. And while we're waiting, one thing I will say is that I have another video, if you haven't caught it already, that will demonstrate how to install the smart zone as a virtual machine within RWG. So I'll link that video in the video description below. But be sure and check that out and that makes it real simple so that you can go from zone director to virtual smart zone and then that virtual smart zone is actually embedded on the rwg hardware all right the virtual smart zone is online so we're going to go ahead and click here to enable sync we'll generate a diff no changes required enable config sync config is already in sync perfect and so now I have two green check marks here. 
And then the final step that I need to do to switch these WLANs is I need to switch them from the zone director controller to the smart zone controller. And so I'm going to go ahead and maximize my screen and we will do that here. So I'm just going to edit management, change that to smart zone, select the AP zone and the AP profile that I want to use and click update. And then I need to do that for each of the WLANs. So we're going to change this to smart zone, select the access point zone and the AP profile and click update. And we want to edit smart zone and default zone and update. And so right now we can see that it's orange. So sync attempt is in progress. So I'm going to go ahead and just slide that back over to the left and we're going to wait until this is green up and then we'll check to make sure those WLANs are created here. Once that is done, then we'll just delete the zone director integration because the idea is that we're migrating from zone director to smart zone. So we'll no longer need that integration. Looks like everything's greened up here again. We'll hit refresh. I see that my WLANs have been created down here on the smart zone. And then the final step here will be just to go delete the zone director. And I can refresh that page. And now we have config sync in place with smart zone, which is embedded on the RWG. And we were able to pull the SSIDs from the zone director and move those over to virtual smart zone. All right, guys. Well, that is it for this video. I hope you found this information helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a great day.